Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva, so let's make a ARP, but also make it Moog, and also give a little bit of slide and some nice effects. So, let's go with a new preset here. And we have something like this, and that might actually be fine, so let's change our envelopes out to something like these two here, and turn our ARP on to 1. So we kind of have that constant thing going. Let's take our sustain down for both of these. And give us some envelope modulation here. Maybe a little bit of resonance. Okay, see how that sounds with some drums here. So that movement in addition to the envelope might be actually kind of cool. So we're going to use LFO2 for that. So let's give it a little bit of modulation. So if we just want to go positive, let's go to LFO2 and select unipolar. And let's change maybe the sync to 1 over 4. And we can see it all kind of bouncing up here. And some glide always kind of makes it kind of cool. So we do need to add a little bit of chorus here. And maybe let's go to the classic and kind of increase the depth I always like to do and the rate down just a little bit here and reduce the mix. And for our second effect here, let's use some delay. Let's bring up our center just a bit here. Maybe reduce the feedback. And we do need to EQ this, so increase these sliders here. Just so we're not really delaying the low end and we're cutting off a little bit of the high end. Something kind of like that. Okay, something like this is pretty cool for the Diva sign goes. So as the other Diva videos, let's kind of go and add some interesting EQ here. So let's turn this on and let's go to the pre-1973, although you can use whatever you'd like. I just kind of like keeping it with the analog vibe here. Kind of gives a nice little low end there. We could even use a little bit more delay now that I'm thinking about it. Let's increase our feedback. Might be kind of cool. It's just crazy how good this thing sounds almost with like almost no effort in this here. So let's do a little bit of compression here. So let's open this up and let's see what we can get up with. Let's go to a new preset. And let's maybe go for something like this, maybe a three to one ratio, something like that, and drag down our threshold here. Maybe something like that might be fine. We're kind of just going to be tickling it a little bit, nothing too crazy. And for the attack, maybe go 25. And we can go maybe, you know, 100 might be fine for this. And maybe since I have some of this distortion here, we'll kind of see how that sounds. It's a pretty cool sounding distortion. So let's go to the new preset and kind of take a listen to how this sounds. So I guess that's 
totally up to you. I kind of like both with the distortion and kind of without. It kind of gives a little bit of a different characteristic. Without the distortion, it definitely really gives that analog grit. The, with the distortion, kind of gives that same vibe, but you get a little bit of hair on it. So it's, it's really up to you, kind of how you feel uh, this kind of patch would work in your track. <laughs> And last but not least, let's add some reverb here with some Valhalla Vintage Verb and see how this sounds here. And a whole track can really be built around this patch here. And that's what's kind of nice about Diva. You really need a good instance, and it can really carry a whole track to its glory and its, uh, yeah, I guess, glory. I don't really have another adjective for that. <laughs> So this sound is already thick enough. You probably don't need another voice and to spread them. You totally can, but already it just how it sounds within itself. It's pretty beady and it's pretty, it kind of just takes the center stage for something like this. So yeah, I guess we're going to call this the Moog Slide Arp, I guess. I mean, as you know, naming conventions are somewhat difficult. So yeah, if you want to get the patches, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and yeah, enjoy.